Hello, it's boarding day. Ah, we are boarding Virgin Voyages cruise ship, the Valiant Lady, to go on a back-to-back two-week cruise. So excited. We are so excited. But first of all, we need to have breakfast at yes. the hotel and then pack. Ooh. See you in a bit. There we go. I've just been saying that we've I've just got our usual table. We've only been here a day. So instead of those um, bread things that we had yesterday, there's now these. Nonny's original biscotti, so we'll grab two of those. Uh, might be different things every day. And there's also a different jam out. So it was the grape one yesterday, now it is actually strawberry. Strawberry fruit spread. Ooh, there we go, toast with the jam, and that's how the thing. Right, so we are packed, we've got our hand luggage, everything is away. Quick final thoughts about the room. It was actually quite a nice room. Yeah, it was lovely. The only thought I would say is if you're staying in this hotel, request a room a little bit higher up because we are right near the reception and you can hear noise. Plus also, as you can see, the blinds are not blackout. No, <laughs> and, there's, like and there's no curtain. Yeah, they're literally sunshades. So they could do with having some blackout blinds. That's a constructive criticism. Um, and that's kind of it, really. Maybe a full-length mirror? Yeah, but I will say it has been. It was very clean. Very clean, very, clean, very, very comfortable. Clean. Lots of attention to all the little extras, like making it folding over the toilet paper end. Yeah. And there were soaps and things that you could wash yourself with. So all in all, a decent room. Yeah. getting here we have to go all the way around again to find the drop-off point but we're finally here it's really hot it's hotter than yesterday we're gonna drop the bags off and then probably go into town. okay so we are now standing in the line in the really hot searing heat there's the other side of the ship and here is the line for anyone wondering what it looks like um, so there you go we will be on the ship hopefully <laughs> In not too long. Right, so we've just dropped off our luggage. It is so hot today. So we're going to have a walk now. We've got about two hours until we're allowed to board. We have deep blue extras, which means we have priority boarding, so we can turn up a little bit earlier than what our allotted time is. The lady said we asked, so we've, we've got clarification on that. Um, and then we'll be boarding this little beauty right, right behind us. So we're going to find somewhere now just to have a drink not be in the sun for a couple of hours. Ahead, there is a Senior Frogs, which we could go to. <laughs> my first time in the senior frogs so we're gonna have a look at the menu and see what we want there's an interesting uh, flotation device on the ceiling so we both had the same we both had uh, a pink colada they don't do the big one they've only got the 484 one and then we'll see if we do want any food but there's no point in ordering too much because we're gonna eat on the ship in not too long here is our pink colada do you want to have a sip so this is Matt's first drink of the day but it's not alcoholic Nice. Lovely. That's more than right, so we've got our deep blue extra wristband, which means we've got priority boarding. Because we are deep blue, we literally just breezed in, and it's like so easy. Just show your wristband, so we can. So this is the deep blue band. Um, you get it as like perks if you've travelled before, yeah. or if you've um, matched your rewards from other cruise lines. You get a deep blue band, and you can go literally walk straight into the. Uh, holding pen if you like and pen. you can miss all <laughs> of the queue. Uh, so we're just waiting for the line to move. Uh, it is a holding pen, that's a good way of describing it and yeah there's no separation of wristbands or whatever. Could do with a little bit better organisation when in this bit. It was the same in Miami uh, but we have heard reports that it was good in the Mediterranean. And the line is finally moving. And the line stops moving. It keeps starting and and stopping and there's about three queues I think and then we sort of I don't know we'll get in there eventually. and we're moving oh boy and we have joined the queue there we go so we have all of our wristbands on that is what we use to access the room and the money so there we go it is fun let's um, find where okay security screening next we are about to board let's go yeah there's no big gangway this time like in Miami. 
So let's get on the ship. We're nearly on. There we go. Hello. Hello. Lovely, thank you. There we go. Hello. Hello. Hi there. Oh yeah, should we where are we going? <laughs> I feel totally whizzed on. There we go, we're on. We are on the ship. We are on deck eleven and we are Z. So let's try and find Hello. our room. Hi. Hi there. 11310. 310Z. Um, that one. Very full one. Thank you very much. Thank you. There you go. Staff are always very, very friendly and helpful when, uh, when you first get on and all the way through the journey, to be quite honest. So let's see. Again, this is quite a new ship. Um, literally, it's, well, if we hadn't told you, we're on the Valiant Lady. Mm. Woohoo. So it's always fun trying to find your cabin. Yeah. Hopefully our luggage will already be there. It looks like Because we did check our luggage on quite early. Um, and to be honest, having the blue band whizzed us on the ship. As you can see, there's lots of luggage already waiting outside people's staterooms, yeah. which is really good. Is that ours? No, no. No. <laughs> no, ours will be outside the room. <laughs> now ours has got a like a greeny tag on it, hasn't it? Yes. So, for about 50 rooms. Yeah. As you can see, all the lights are blue, and then on Scarlet Night they do turn red. Oh, they're all red, aren't they? Yeah. So that's very exciting. So our luggage is not waiting. <laughs> so yeah, you use your, your wristband to open the door. Right, let's put some light on. I think if you close that door. Oh, the, it might open up. Okay, so let's wait. <laughs> no, there's nothing. There we go. So when you come oh. in, the curtains open. So this is our cabin. Look. I mean, we have been in one before. <laughs> but look, if I just go through here, we have a balcony. We have a beautiful view of San Juan. Ah, oh, we're back on a cruise ship. Yay. It feels like we've never left. Don't need my wallet anymore. No, no, it feels like we've never left. So the check-in process was... Was, it was easier having the blue band, yes. the, the deep blue perks. There is a pull down bed here, which we never used last time. The bed is really, really comfortable. I've, I've seen some reviews uh, about it not being comfortable, but it was comfortable the last time that we stayed here. Uh, yeah, we're so glad to be on board. I can't wait to get our luggage and unpack. I just get a little bit of footage of the bathroom before we get all of our stuff in here. This is how you find it. Now, it is compact. It is a compact bathroom. Not going to lie. Uh, but if you can fit on, I would say, if you can fit on a single aeroplane seat, you will be perfectly fine in here. It's compact, but perfectly well formed. So as you can see, you've got some uh, makeup removing towels and hand towels. You've got a soap bar. Uh, you've got shelving to be able to put all your bits and pieces. There's also room underneath for things like fl uh, flip flops or shoes. There is a fan above, an extractor fan that is really powerful. Uh, and the bathroom door, the shower door, swings both ways, which is a really good use of space. The shower cubicle is plenty big enough with a rainfall. And of course, you've got uh, body wash, conditioner, hair conditioner and hair wash as well. Plus, I didn't know this last time until quite late on in the cruise, but there is a washing line that pulls out as well, which just fixes into the wall over there. And from this way, you can see out of the shower and we can see a map. I'm going to go out onto the balcony. It's a slidey door. Oops. <laughs> so here we are. Now, not the most massive balcony in the world, but perfectly well formed. You have a hammock. There we go, Matt's going to demonstrate the hammock for us. But whilst he's demonstrating the hammock, I will just show you what I can see from here. So th that is the terminal where we waited. We've got the lifeboats down below. Yes, yeah, and your frogs where we had lunch is right the way down there. Uh, it's very hot, but not as hot as Miami, not as humid as Miami. There we go, so Matt is in a hammock, as you can see. And uh, the tables and chairs are actually quite comfortable. And if, if I just sit down, you can see quite clearly what I can see. The air conditioning only works when the door is shut in the room. Uh, so we're gonna go now. Our plans are to go to the galley yes. and get something to eat because we're hungry. 
But before we go and go to the galley, we are going to go to get services because there is one thing about this cruise that we thought we'd booked, and I think we had booked the same room because we're doing back-to-back, yeah. -back, uh, but they've actually given us a different deck for the second cruise, so we would like to keep this room, yeah. so we're going to go and ask if we can. And if we can't, can't, we need to find out what we do. Yeah. So we're actually not far away from the lifts, and we managed to get on really early because our actual boarding time was about three, uh, but we managed to get on really, really early and without any hassle as well. If you do have a later boarding time, you can also drop off your luggage and they will hold it for you. You can go away, you can visit the old town or whatever and um, board when you are ready. We are going down. Here we are, sailor guest services. There we go, so we're gonna catch the lift now to the level with the galley, which is 15. Yes. So, yes. bit of an update on the room. We do have to change room, yeah. but the process should be simple. Yes, we just pack, they take our stuff, it comes to our new room, rejoice. Yeah, there we go. Okay, here we have the galley. It should be exactly the same as on Scarlet Lady. So you've got your tea and coffee making facilities over here. Thing. Yeah, pre-pack, but it's not full at the minute because obviously it's boarding day, but this is your grab and go sort of station. So you just have a quick look there. Um, right, we need to go find a table. Where should we go? Yeah, we have a table that has a really good view. Look at this. So the ship over there is a Royal Caribbean ship, I do believe. So one thing I have noticed is that this time they've got breakfast, dinner and lunch specific menus rather than just accessing the whole thing. So what you do is you can scan the code, order from the app and you can raise the service uh, tab not quite sure how you do that but you do that's it and then and then they know they know to come to you and then you put it down again uh, here is the tea and coffee station so i'm just going to get a cup off the rack and choose what i would like so i've got my coffee and matt has a coke and i put a bit of fanta in it as well because i remember that you like that don't oh, you oh indeed yeah yeah thank okay. you so we've ordered various foods. Uh, I wanted an omelette and we asked what side to have, so I chose some bacon. This is like the really crispy bacon. I don't think it's quite the same as what they have at Razzle Dazzle, but it was really gorgeous last time. So Matt's gone in search of some cutlery, and then Matt's ordered some sushi because he loves sushi and he's missed it so much. I've just cut into the omelette. Doesn't it look delicious? And Matt's sushi boxes have arrived. You wanted it so much, haven't you? Yeah, I've dreamt about sushi. So here it is. So Matt does eat it with chopsticks, I can't. <laughs> so if we open the box, we'll show you what it looks like. As it is. Well then, tough boxes. They're very tough boxes. The pressure is on. There we go. There we go. There's the sushi and that one. What's the other one? I don't think it's the same. Oh, same. Okay, so now it's time for my favourite bit, the cakes. Oh my goodness, the cakes. I have missed these so much. Right, what have they got today? We've got, hi there. Ooh, I'm checking out the cakes. <laughs> okay, I think, is that the same as the Scarlet Lady cake, but apart from it's blue? It is, it is. I'll have that one, please. Thank you very much. I'll have one as well, please. <laughs> Here they are. Oh, I'm pretty certain it's the same as the Scarlet Lady cake, that one there. That is a cheesecake, mm -hmm. and Matt has had a chocolate, what was it, chocolate brownie? Chocolate cherry mar marquois. Wow, they look gorgeous. There is the lady cake. I think it's the resilient lady cake, it's blue. Oh, gorgeous. So a quick update. The blue, and by the way, it's stained my fingers purple. It's not the same as the one on Scarlet Lady. Because the one on Scarlet Lady was chocolate in the middle. This is white chocolate. How was your chocolate? It was gorgeous. Yummy. I got blue all over my face. No. <laughs> <laughs> but they are really, really delicious. And that's my first cake of the day. Here is the inside of the cheesecake. We are now very full. Stuffed. <laughs> Matt, had, oh. Matt was bought an extra box of sushi. Oh, did you ask for it? For those of you wondering, you don't actually have to bring water on board because there are two carafes filled with water. They get refreshed every time someone comes into the stateroom and notices that they're down. You've got glasses. You can also purchase an octopus. Uh, $12 to buy the octopus. You might even be able to buy the um, the mat as well. So we're going to have a drink. So we have just watched the muster video. <laughs> it, it, it's a video. Yes. Uh, but you do still have to go to a muster station for a quick drill. Ours is in the casino. Yeah. Uh, where can they find that out? On the app? 
Uh, yes, so once you've watched the video, it comes up where your muster point is and it also gets updated on the Virgin Voyages app. Yeah, and what time are we now? We are... Uh, half past almost four. Okay, so we actually checked our luggage in at 11am and the luggage still hasn't arrived outside the door. So we're hoping yeah. that as soon as we've done muster... It'll be there. It'll be there and I can finally unpack. So I've been wet. I hate living out of a suitcase. Yeah. And I just feel like I want to unpack and nest and then we can enjoy sail away Yay! there we go so we are muster point b in the casino and as you can see here is a little bit of the casino so there we go the muster was literally just scan your wrist and then everything is on the video so we're gonna try and head to one of the decks because we think they're giving out free champagne I want champagne but i need my sunglasses i also need this visor to stop myself from burning my head but I just realised I look like a complete Karen with my hair sticking out the top. So this is the vibe, Karen vibe, to get some sh some champagne. Let's go! Right, so going out onto the pool deck. So everyone looks like they're already <laughs> out. Uh, you can see the, um, the funnels of going. There we go. So it's busy. The pool is not quite people soup yet, uh, <laughs> but I'm sure it will be. Remember, boarding day is always the busiest. So everything will, all the public areas will quieten down. So we're on deck 16, as you can see the pool area. It's filling up already, people enjoying themselves. Um, there's lots of loungers around, but we can't see any free champagne. Where is, oh look at that art, artwork. Ooh, That's cool. new. I don't remember that on Scarlet Lady. So this is the same view that we had from the galley. You I'm might, not. yeah, no, no, is it? No. I don't know, I think Harry was on the other side. As you can see, see or hear it's a bit windy <laughs> up here but it's such a gorgeous view so there we have the big funnels and the virgin sign so plenty of, of big like day bed loungers on there's plenty of day bed loungers everywhere on the yeah. ship there's lots of public seating areas uh, so you'll never go short of somewhere to sit and there's these really fabulous swing things and if i'm not mistaken they've come up to the exercise area as well uh, where sometimes they do um, exercises and it's kind of like adult playgrounds. Remember, this is an adults only cruise, so you can sit on all the different things. And there's some basketball going on already. Uh, and these were the swings I, I, I was videoed on one of those last time. So here we are looking at the back of the ship. Make your way to your assigned assembly station now. Thank you. Right, it's almost half past five. We put our luggage in at 11. It's still not turned up outside the cabin and we've seen lots of bags outside the cabin on, outside people's cabins on this deck. So we're a bit concerned. So Matt's gone to check with guest services just to see, because we don't want to be sailing away and for some reason our cases are not on board because that would be an absolute nightmare. I would be livid. So. We'll find out very shortly. Okay, so regarding the luggage, uh, I just poked my head out, out of the door to see if it had turned up and there was there was a room attendant. So I said, we haven't had our luggage and I'm really worried and concerned. He said, don't worry, they're still delivering them up until 7 p.m. So fingers crossed, we're soon. There is a free champagne awesome. available shortly. Thank you. 
what I think it is. It is our luggage. It has arrived. Ah! There we go. So these are our outfits for this evening. We've got a reservation in Extra Virgin. I'm so excited for this steak. Ah, it's ah. our favourite steak. I have the whole shit. dreamt of this steak. The, the steak, steak. the steak is better than the wake. It really, really is. So let's head down there. Where are we going first? The, we're not going to the wake first, the are we? Not the, the, yeah, thing, we're going to check out the excursions because when we were looked on the app, it was all booked up, so we're going to see if there's anything available. And if we can spend our loot on it. Yeah. Also, Kai's very quickly add. So, last time we came, mm -hmm. it was before I started at the gym, before we started really, like, well, I started looking at what I was eating, and I felt obscene. And we actually watched our old cruise, like, our room tour before we came Yeah, on. go check out our old vlogs, The yeah. Scarlet Lady. And looking back, I was like, oh... I'm a, I was a lot bigger than I am now. Now I actually feel like I'm really good about myself. He looks so, really good. Yes, I'm very excited. I'm very happy with the progress I made and I feel amazing. So let's go have some steak. Yay, we managed to get into Extra Virgin. Thank you very much. So we did have a reservation for Extra Virgin at 8.45, but they managed to accommodate us early so we could do a few things we wanted to do. So the menu is fantastic. I remember it was, what did we have? I think we had the calamari last time, which is there. Then I you can you choose. Did. You can choose two sides of pastas, like half portions. Then the charcuterie board was amazing and the steak was the best steak, I'd yeah. say. We have some oil and balsamic vinegar and we have some bread. What sort of bread is that? It is bread. It's, it's bread. So we're going to enjoy it. And I think you dip that into the oil and balsamic. Drinks wise, we've had a Hugo. What was it? What was it again? It was sparkling brut, mm -hmm. soda water, citrus and mint. Okay. There we go. Citrus water, something and mint. Let's Cheers. have a try. Cheers. My name is Matt and this is my fifth drink of the day. <laughs> it's your fifth drink of the day. Yeah, go for it. Tell us what you think. Is it good? Oh, that's nice. That's refreshing. Right. We've just been explained what they all are, but I'm not, I can't remember everything. But we've got some nuts, we've got some like ham, we've got, it's all in cheese, it looks gorgeous, so we're yeah. going to try all of them. You've had what? Artichoke. Artichoke. And I have had the calamari with like a lemony dip. Okay, so the calamari was lovely, Matt artichoke liked his artichoke. Good. The charcuterie board is really good, we've even brought more some bread. more bread. We've got pasta courses coming the next, and then so steak. Right. It's, it's almost like a sponge. Yeah, it's, it's really so good. good. The, that's oxtail. An oxtail, and then this is the... Seafood. Seafood, and this is the potato gnocchi. gnocchi. Potato gnocchi. Uh, this is literally the best steak at sea, and Matt's been waiting so long for it. Yummy. So our server has been absolutely amazing. Yeah, she was fantastic. Uh, but she's given us some lemoncello shots. 
So Matt's gonna try his first. I think we're gonna do it together. We are, but I can only hold the camera and do one thing at once. So you're gonna have to try yours. Is it good? And then you, then you gotta try me. So the shops, so the shops, the shops, how many shops, the shops have I had? The shops are actually closed until what, about 10 p.m.? Yeah, Hi everybody, Hi. it is the next day. We forgot, we totally, totally, totally forgot to sign out of- It was the cocktail. Of boarding day's vlog, yes. No, it wasn't just the cocktails, it was the food. Oh yeah, the food. we were in a proper food coma last night. We couldn't move. When we, we come back, we didn't We didn't even go to the PJ party. We had good intentions of going yeah. to the PJ party. It didn't happen. We just lay on the bed and we were just so exhausted. I think the travelling is kind of catching up with us, but yeah. we had about 10 hours sleep last night. We did, so we should be fine today. We should be fine. Um, so the next vlog you'll see, we are in Tortola. Mm. So check that out. I'm going to close out the boarding day vlog. We had a really good boarding day. We um, did. Apart from, it was a bit chaotic in the... Holding pen. Yes. But <laughs> remember, this is the first time Virgin has ever sailed from Sam Juan, so there's yeah. al there was always going to be some hiccups. Yeah. And, you know. Yeah, but it was fine. We got on the ship fine. Yeah. <laughs> Once that line started moving, it was fine. Um, so thank you for watching this vlog. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media. And, of course, do hit the bell so that you know whenever we upload new videos. We're off for breakfast now. So until next time, talk to you all, and goodbye. Oh.